Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I post about two times to three times a week on Saturday and one random day. Please consider to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this kind of content. Yeah, so today is going to be an exciting one. I was recently sent this perfume from Juliana Perfume, so I have a box here. I'm just going to open it up with you on camera and then blind sniff it. I want it to be raw. I never heard of them before. They reach out to me, honest review, whatever. I'm going to post their email to me because I'd like to be transparent. I'm going to adjust the screen a little bit. Yeah, okay. So it comes in this two boxes. Apparently they have 10 total perfume in their companies and each uh, discovery set has five so they're sending me two discovery sets so that's total in ten so that represent everything in their perfume line oh and it comes with this beautiful card thank you for your order we hope you enjoy the scents Please feel free to give your viewer 20% off with code OLLIEMOMS20. Love, Juliana's perfume. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, yeah. So, OLLIEMOMS20. <laughs> that's really sweet. Okay, so we have two boxes here. Alright, so it's extract the perfume. That means this is like good beast mode stuff, you know? The box looks like this. It's really nice, you guys. And it opens like this and comes in five. And the size is pretty big. This is like a 7.5 mil. So I just lift it up so that it's easier for me because this thing sits pretty tight inside that white styrofoam. All right, so let's see, what's the first one? Um, this is Aurora. Ambergris, vanilla, proline, oak moss, violet, jasmine, amber, and saffron. Um, is this your version of Baccarat? I mean, looking at the notes, it looks like something that represents Baccarat, but let's see. I'm just gonna spray it straight to my skin. Wow, yeah, it is their Baccarat. It is really nice. Um, I need to do comparison side by sides between this one and Baccarat. But this smells literally like like Baccarat, like Ula Rouge, like um, Dossier, Amber, Saffron. So I really do like this one. But if you already have Baccarat or it's dupe, you could skip this. Alright, so the next one is Heavenly Soul. Oak moss, sandalwood, rose, amber, patchouli, cedar, white moss, lemon, bergamot, green notes, and aquatic notes. I don't know. This one sounds like a men cologne, splash cologne vibe. I have no idea. Um, let's see if I like it. Yeah, so this one smells like a barbershop type of scent. It's quite watery. The aquatic notes play a dominant player in here. This one smells nice. It's nice. But it's not something that I would pick up because it's very... It's fruity, aquatic. <sighs> Reminds me a lot of a Versace Bright Crystal type, whereas fruity, like has citrusy. It's aquatic, it has for such a bright crystal texture, but it also has that strong oak moss that makes it uh, more like a barbershop type of fragrance. So I do like that one as well. Number three. Wow, what is this? This is really good. Okay. Floral extract. Rose, Java, Orange, and Apricot. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so this is a fruity rose. This one smells like one of the Taka perfume in the red 
bottle. I don't remember what it's called. It's like the one in the gradient. The top part is red and the bottom is transparent. It's like one of the Taka. I really, really like this, you guys. So this is just going to be a first impression of what scent is, smells like what. And I'm going to test this throughout the day and hopefully by the time this video is out I could comment a little bit better and when it comes to performance of this perfume but this is nice this one smells like those taka where that has rose and grapefruit it's very fruity rose it's nice I do like it but none of this I would purchase a full bottle yet I do enjoy that one I'm not a rose person Wow, this is beautiful. This is it. Bad bitch. <laughs> okay, so that's why I like it. Because it's tuberose, orange blossom, pink pepper, ylang ylang, fresh notes, comorin, jasmine sambac, benzoin, amber, and fetifer. Right off the bat, this one smells pretty darn close to a rouge malachite type. Um, this one has a little bit of a feta fur that makes it different. It makes it slightly a tad more like mossy or I do like this one. Um, guys, this is if you love rouge malachite type of perfume, you're going to love this. I'm super excited actually because all of the scent is completely different and they're extrate the perfume so i'm super excited of extrate the perfume to be honest you know because they last way longer now the last but not least aphrodite rose bulgarian rose pink pepper ember wood cedar vanilla red rose and almond so it's like a rosy scent type of deal Okay, so this is smells pretty darn close to Delina. I do enjoy this one quite a bit. So I already smell like if you buy this discovery kit, I don't know how much the price is. I'm going to write down the um, pricing here. But you could literally get Baccarat, their version of Baccarat. You could get their version of um, like a barbershop type of fragrance, I think. Um, you could get the Taka, the red one, their version of Taka red one. You can get the version of Rouge Malachite and Delina, you know. Um, yeah, it's more in the Delina instead of the Dylan exclusive. I'm super excited, you guys. Um, so far, so good. Nothing quite original. It's a twist of what's a popular in the market. They tell me to be honest, so I'm being honest. <laughs> but I do like it. So this is the second batch of um, perfume from their collection. So I'm going to pull that out. Selfish kind of love. Blackberry, vanilla, rose, tonka bean, sandalwood, lavender, petite grain, jasmine, and bergamot. Wow, this is beautiful. I don't, let me see. Yeah, so this is their Surge Off Lyra impression of it, I think. Um, it's spongy, cakey, vanilla. So this is very similar to either Ani. Yeah, okay. So this is quite darn similar to Ani. I really, really like this one, you guys. I'm so excited. I love this. Wow. Guys, you have to check the price for this. If it's such a good deal, I really, really recommend you to pick up the Discovery set. Because you could literally sample how Ani smells like Delina, Rouge Malachite, like this is their version of those popular DNA and it's super, it's not a quite a spot on dupe but it's quite close that I could detect it, you know, it's really good. I love that one. Uh, this is my most, yeah, so this is my favorite, self is kind of love. Honey, beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love, 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 love. So next one. I'm really excited, you guys. The more I smell this, the more I love it. 
The next one, love triangle. Amber, pink pepper, tonka bean, clove, rose, cinnamon, molnesia, sarmientoi, fetifer, amorous, and heliotrope. Um, is this like tobacco vanille, you think? Let me see. It's not tobacco vanille, but it's so darn familiar. I don't know what it is. Ambergris, clove, rose, cinnamon, fetifer. Yeah. Okay, um, this one smells like Amber Nuit a little bit. Yeah, this is Amber Nuit. Wow. I'm really, 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 really impressed, you guys. You should totally get this. If you get this ton of it, you would pretty much smell a lot of the popular DNA in the perfume world. Three more. And the next one is... Monroe, peony, rose, apricot, bitter almond, musk, and dew notes. So I guess this is like a sour peony. I it's like a you know peony sujo type Armani pre. Maybe let me smell. Yeah, it's on the DNA of blooming bouquet. Amani Prief Peony Sucho, the beautiful. This is beautiful one for wedding floral. This is nice one. Wicked Fantasy, Agarwood, Vanilla, Mas Alang Alang, Bolnesia, Sarmientoi, and Rose. I don't know, Agarwood, is that Oot? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Oot, so I'm gonna spray it on my finger in case I have to like wash it off, you know? This is their Oot Bouquet version. Yep, wood bouquet. I smell oot, rose. Is there saffron in here? Well, there's no saffron, but it's. I swear this one smells like wood bouquet. This is the version of wood bouquet. Wow, you guys. I like this one actually. The um, their version of wood bouquet doesn't have that syntheticness. I'm super duper impressed so far. Okay, last but not least. Wow, what is this? This smells green. Oh my goodness. Red carpet affair. I know what this smells like. Angelica, vanilla, pear, sweet lavender, rose musk, and jasmine sandbag. This one smells like, like velvet vanilla opening. I don't know if this one's gonna change to bubble gummy tuberose or this one's gonna stay in like angelic noir. Actually, Angelique Noir is my scent of the day. This is much stronger. This is very green, very Angelique. Okay, guys, I'm super impressed with this house. Super duper impressed. Um, the scent wise, to be honest, nothing original in here. Everything that I smelled, I could quickly draw a comparison or connection with the perfume that I've smelled before from Baccarat, Delina, Rouge Malachite um, I don't remember those two Ani Oh, Versace Bright Crystal It's just really impressive even like like Angelica Super Green um, Vanilla which is pretty similar to Angelica Noir except it's much stronger I'm really, really impressed with this company, you guys. If you get this 10, you're going to pretty much smell a lot of the popular DNA in the perfume. If I were to recommend one, if you were to blind buy it, because maybe you don't like the sample, I really, 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 really enjoy the selfish kind of love. This is Ani, which I really, really enjoy. I mean, I recommend all of this actually because they're all very different. Yeah, so the last one smells similar to Angelique Noir or Wild Python. It's a bit green, it has that bubblegummy feel. Yeah, so yeah, impressive. I actually do enjoy this. I do recommend it if you're interested to find out about this. 
I don't know how much it is, the price, I'm gonna write it out, but this is such a good discovery set. It's like once you buy this too, you pretty much smell the popular DNA of everything that I just mentioned. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.